It's the best day ever. <clears throat> oh, ah. Welcome back, my liege. Uh, I want to congratulate you on your appeals to uh, the barons of Armenia. Thank you for your compliments. No autographs, please. Sir, sir, I got terrible news. Your wife is cheating on you. Well, that beeps. I'll get her back. Have my soldiers defeat her nobles. That'll teach her. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bringles, where we are in a safe zone. Ah, you bully. Ah, no, don't take my lunch, buddy. Ah, no, yeah, yeah. How dare they beat up my nobles? You, servant. Hmm? Over oh, with three of my best knights. Go! Yes, ma'am. Go! My wife isn't here yet. She must still be mad. Oh well. Whoa! Who the beep are you guys? We are the knights who say me! 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 me, me. Never mess with knights, you say me. Alright, I think it's- STOP! One more tale of a guy named Samson. He was very strong and had long hair, like Joe once had. Jeff Samson? No! Anyways... Tap out! Tap out! Yeah! One, two, three! Yeah! Who's getting the jungle now? Ah, oh, I better go to my girlfriend's house. Honey, I'm home. Samson, is that you? Come in here, I'll style your hair. Good night. It's time for your haircut. Where's the money? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, he's at my house. You got the money? You better have the money. Okay. See you soon. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. Ah. Oh, my hair! Oh, where did it go? Where's my hair? Oh, gotta find it somewhere. Excuse me, sir. You're under arrest for uh, wrestling an ape without a license? It wasn't me. It was the one our man. Dude, just shut up. <laughs> Samson was later. Thrown into jail, beaten, and blinded. Later, he was harassed by the Philistines and was thrown between between two pillars. Only if I had spinach so I could get my strength back. Oh, yeah. Oh, bring your house down! <laughs> that was a tale of Samson. And now for the... That's enough! Story! You've been talking for five hours now, you fat loaf. Oh, I'm out of here. You choose me, I have LCF. Hello, this is Professor. I am boring. The le the moral of this story is that even if you can be great, fortune may abandon you at any point. Thank you. <laughs>